<laughs> hey everybody, my name's Kate. Um, I sent out a notice to as many of you as I possibly could asking you to send in your videos for Pastor Appreciation Day, thanking Pastor Chris and Pam and or Cheryl and Sonia for the kids ministry and or Karen Sebo for youth ministry. And I did a little different. I told them about it as well and asked them to send in a video too. Since COVID has made everything so weird and different, I thought, why not do Pastor Appreciation different too? Anyways, thank you to those of you that braved the technology and sent in your videos. But part of the agreement was that I would introduce myself as well to some of you that may not know me. My name is Kate. My mom and dad are Pastor Chris and Pam. I have been um, going to this church since 1997, right before I turned 13. That's when we moved here. And I into, uh, became the office administrator, I don't even know when, but I officially uh, went on the payroll in 2011 after I had my little guy, Levi. Um, now I am the director of a camp called Royal Family Kids Camp, which is um, a camp for kids that are victims of abuse, abandonment, and neglect. And um, so that's a cool adventure that I'm in. Look at the uh, link below and please check it out. Get involved five days every summer or come one day, two day. We don't care. Anyways, just wanted to say happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. It's a tongue twister. Anyway, bye, Papa. <laughs> bye. Hi, Pam and Chris. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. First, I want to start off by saying thank you for the countless amount of hours that you've poured into this church, but also just the love and efforts that you've poured into making this church home for people. You guys have been a big part of my growing up process and a huge part of my walk with Christ, and you guys have really shaped me into the person that I am today, and I can never tell you how grateful I am for that. I love you guys and appreciate everything you do. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Hi, Pastor Pam and Chris. I just wanted to thank you guys for everything that you've done for me, for all the countless hours that you've poured into this church, and I've seen all your dedication, and I'm just very grateful for it, and I'm sure everyone in this church is. I've been a part of this church for a long time, so I'm thankful for everyone that's that I've come to know and become a family with. Um, I'd just like to thank all of you guys, and I'd also like to thank um, Cheryl, Sonia, Stevo, and Kara for letting me help with children's ministry. I look forward to Wednesday nights and helping out with the kids because it's been a huge blessing for my life and it's actually shown me my calling to become a teacher. So I'm very grateful for getting to help with children's ministry and just being a part of this church family. And you guys have helped me, sh you guys have helped shape who I am today. So thank you. This message is from Melanie and I to Chris and Pam, Steve-O and Kara, Cheryl and Sonia and Kate, to all of you who serve so diligently at church, who take care of us and everybody else in need, who love the Lord with all your hearts, and who are called according to God's purpose and God's plan. Uh, he's brought us together to serve him and to, uh, to minister in this kingdom. And we just praise God that uh, we get a chance to do that. So from the bottom of mine and Melanie's hearts, just know how much we truly, truly do appreciate you and care for you guys and are glad that the Lord brought our, our paths together. And we look forward to the time to come. Amen. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Farrell. I'm the pastor here at the Lighthouse. Been here since uh, early 1997. And I'm Pam Farrell, Chris Farrell's wife, and um, I've been here as well with him along that journey since early 1997. So it's been almost 24 years, and I've been doing worship ever since we got here. Um, it's been an amazing journey, and I'm so thankful. We've had some great musicians come in and out of the church. Some have moved away, some have stayed, um, and it's been a privilege. My goal now is really trying to focus on bringing up the young and focusing on leadership and um, you know who's going to take my place someday <laughs> but it's been a privilege um, to be a part of this church and um, especially my worship teams over the year I'm just so grateful for that it's been a wonderful experience for our family for uh, Pam and I uh, it's been special but what makes that is the people here at the lighthouse and I always 
don't look forward to this Sunday, Pastor Appreciation, because the reality is it just makes us realize how much we appreciate you. Uh, I came here with no experience being a pastor, and <laughs> you guys have put up with a lot, you know, through that. But uh, it's been a privilege to be here with you. Ditto for sure. Thank you.
Hey, Chris and Pam. Just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you do uh, as our pastor and our worship leader, as our friends. Um, I think Cece and I, we were trying to figure it out the other day, but I think it's been maybe 20 years, maybe 21 years uh, since we started attending uh, Lighthouse when we were uh, we were sold on the first day that we walked in the door. Uh, Pam, I, I think uh, I think the song was uh, "This Is the Air I Breathe." And uh, it, we, our hearts were already touched just with the worship. And then when Chris uh, spoke and uh, just uh, spoke on a, a real down to earth level, like he's uh, talking to a friend, which is what I've come to learn that that's what he it considers everyone. Uh, and the friendship evangelism style uh, has just been incredible. And, you know, we've really watched uh, the church grow and we've seen so many people being uh, come up in leadership and uh, where, where now there's so many Bible studies and people helping uh, with, with uh, the church operations. And uh, that's a reflection of your leadership, both of you. And so we, we're really thankful for you. And uh, we want to appreciate you and tell you how much we love you during this time. Would you like to say something? Oh, no, I agree with everything Dennis said. <laughs> and <laughs> we do love you. She said, she said you're going to talk the whole time. And we pray for you all the time. Every day we pray for you. Daily. And your family. All right. We love you guys. Love you. God bless. Chris and Pam, we thank you so much for the Lighthouse Chapel and all that you do for us. We just love our church family and happy pastor's appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Hi, friends from Lighthouse Chapel. It is Mahindra Singh, a missionary here in Durban, South Africa. It is my honest privilege uh, to be able to add to the sentiments of the church to appreciate you, Pastor Chris and Pastor Pam. P Pastor Chris, I remember meeting you the first time when you came down to Durban in, in South Africa to work with us. Uh, that was such a great trip for me, just to watch you, to be able to interact with you. About the most thing I appreciate is your words match your work ethic. You're humble, you're hardworking, and you're able to get stuck in the job. That spoke such loud words to me. It is my honest privilege because I remember the Bible speaks about giving double honor to the servants of God, especially those that preach, Timothy said. Um, and I want to be able to just say thank you so much for your support, your, your generosity to us here at Crossroads. And I want to say have a great day and may God richly bless you in the church in everything you do. Amen. Hi, Pam and Chris. I just wanted to tell you how much we appreciate you. Our family has been through so many good times and bad times and any time that we need support, we all say, all of us in our family, we say, go to Pam and Chris because you've been there for all of our children's weddings. Even when Sam and Grace got married, Chris tromped through the snow and out in the middle of nowhere to marry them. It was freezing cold and then driving clear to San Diego for Summer and Roy's wedding and being there for to support us during the death of both of our fathers and the birth of many babies. And so um, I don't know two people that are more supportive and godly. And even when we've had many trials and tribulations in our family, um, you've been there to support and you always have the right words to say. And I just can't thank you enough and I love you both so very much. So thank you from the Matthews family. Hello, I miss Kids Night because of I miss getting to be able to play outside. I miss listening to the music. And I also miss to learning about God. And also to be able to interact with my friends. Hi guys, it's Kai and some things that I miss about Wednesday nights with youth group is that I really miss uh, Miss Cheryl's cooking and learning about God with Steve and Kara. I miss peeping around everybody and learning about God. What I miss most about Wednesday night church is when you walk in the doors, you're automatically welcomed by Sonia and all them, and I just really enjoy being there and it's like we're all one 
with God. And we get to be funny and make jokes, but in the end, it's fun. Hi, this is Rio. Some things that I miss about church is that I don't get to eat Mrs. Cheryl's delicious food, and I don't get to sing songs with my friends. And it's just, like, good to talk about God and have fun with your friends and learn about the Holy Bible. So, yeah. Bye. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since the quarantine started, so I thought I would share my quarantine beauty with you guys. <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? I know. So anyways, I miss everything from Wednesday nights, including our youth folks, our Bible study, and our dinner, of course. But most importantly, I miss you guys. Just because I don't talk much during Wednesday nights doesn't mean I don't love you. So take care. All the best. Hi. The thing that I miss the most is seeing you guys. I just, whenever I walk into the church, it just brightens up my day, and I love it. And learning about God is what I miss, but I still do learn about God. It's just when I'm in the church, I feel like he's right beside me. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Bye. What I miss mostly about Wednesday nights is um, hanging out with Karen Stevo, hanging out with my friends, and learning the word of God. Aiden, say hi. 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 Hi, Oakley. Hi. Okay, what do you miss about Kid hi. Church? You miss your friends? Um, yes. You miss worshiping God? Yes. And all those good feelings that you get when you go? Yes. Yeah, and learning? Yes. Yep. I miss everything. Yeah, you miss everybody? Yep. Hope everyone's doing well, huh? Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hi, Devin. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Silas. <laughs> I miss praying to Jesus and playing on the playground. And I miss my friends, Kai, Leo, and Steve, and all of my friends. Bye. To Wednesday night church because we get to spend time with my friends and learn about the Lord. And I wanted to thank Miss Cheryl and Sonia so much for making it enjoyable for us kids. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hi, I'm still alive. Miss seeing you guys at Wednesday night, but there's another night of us socially distancing far away than usual. I'm starting to miss everybody and not seeing no familiar faces. I miss working with Stevo and Kira and seeing Sonia and Cheryl. Miss you all doing all our fun crafts and the yummy food and doing all our songs. I hope you guys are doing well. The thing I miss most about kids tonight is Kara and Stevo and their lesson. Okay, something I miss about church um, is not being able to socialize and talk about the word of God uh, and how much he has given up for us. And I think during this time, it's such a great lesson to not take things for granted and to show how much God is in our lives. And I also feel that the bond of our youth group and our upper youth group has become so strong. And I feel that like, hopefully when we come back, it's just the normal. And so I can't wait for that normal to come back. Uh, so yeah, uh, hope everyone stays safe. We miss you, Mr. Sonia. I miss Kids Night because I love to learn about God with Karen and Steve while also hanging out with my friends and the laughs. But most of all, Cheryl's food.
Hey, and this is for Stevo and Kara. Um, you guys are so appreciated. Uh, we're so proud to see where you've come. Uh, Kara, we were really excited those years ago when you came in and uh, we got you up there on the stage to help with the worship. And uh, you've been such a blessing to have up there on the worship team. Uh, and then you found this guy, <laughs> Steve-O, Captain America, and uh, got to got to be down here at the river whenever uh, he was baptized. And then have, we've just been watching both of you grow, uh, get married, uh, go into ministry. Uh, and uh, Steve-O, I, I just really proud of you, uh, where you've come, and just listening to you speak and hearing the, the freshness of your faith and the things that you're learning daily and now that you and now you guys are going to uh you know work, working on uh, ministry uh, school teach or uh, training and so it's just we're just expecting bigger and bigger things and thanks for all that you're doing for the the youth to just building that that youth group um it, it's it's going to be great and it's great right now we really appreciate and love you guys yes we love you both and you're truly a treasure a treasure a treasure that's a, that's a good word <laughs> <laughs> god bless you guys Hey Steve-O, hey Kara, happy Pastor Appreciation Day. When you guys first started coming to our church, I didn't expect you guys to make such a huge impact on my life as you did. Um, I started really getting to know you guys at the beach trip and you guys taught me a lot there. Um, I thought I was kind of just gonna go there and have fun, but I really got to know you guys and the Lord during that church, uh, during that trip. You guys really taught me that, you know, um, walking with Christ isn't gonna make your life, e like it's not gonna make it any easier. It's not gonna make it perfect, but it does show you that, you know, an almighty and loving God God is always going to be by my side and I will continue to carry that lesson with me my whole entire life. I love you guys so much. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. I'm just uh, doing this video because I'm here to say thank you for uh, supporting us with supervision on Sunday school and if we didn't we would all be crazy so we really need that supervision. Thank you Gina and your whole entire team for supporting us on Sunday school. Bye. Thank you, Mom, so much for letting me help you on Sundays with, with the nursery. I really love it, and it's really enjoyable, and thank you very much. And, uh, and Cheryl, um, even though you hang out with that kind of bald, uh, funny little guy, um, <laughs> we still appreciate you. And <laughs> but uh, but you, you and, and Sonia, all that you guys do, um, we, we know that you're Many times you're uh, in the background. Uh, we're not we're not seeing what's going on, uh, but we know that you're out there working with the children uh, all the time, working behind the scenes on virtually everything that happens uh, in the church. We get to we, we know that you're back there uh, working, and, and Sonia right there uh, next to Cheryl, and uh, uh, really really happy to have your friendship and have your partnership uh, in the church, and you are much appreciated and much valued. And the kids love you a lot. <laughs> you can just tell on those videos. And that means something. That means a lot. That means a whole lot. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. God bless. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. I love you guys so much, especially because you're family. But hypothetically speaking, if you were not a part of my family, you guys taught me at a very young age how to love God and worship Him through all the trials that He throws at us. Um, I look up to you guys so much. Like, I hope when I'm a mom or I'm a grandma, I'm just like you guys. I appreciate you so much, and I love you.
our support and encouragement through this unforeseen year. We're so grateful that we still get to work here, that we still get to be a part of this church and this community, and um, that we can all get through this together. And specifically, we wanted to say thank you to Cheryl and Sonia and Pam and Chris and Kate and you for partnering with us in ministry. And it's just such a privilege and an honor to get to have you guys as mentors and, and friends in our lives. And we're just so blessed to get to work right next to you. So we just wanted to take time to say thank you. And we love you so much. Go. Hi, guys. My name is Cheryl Kennedy, and I just want to tell Pam and Chris thank you for Pastor Appreciation Day um, for allowing me to be uh, in the children's lives here at Lighthouse Chapel. I really um, enjoy Kids Night, Wednesday nights. I like Sunday school, BBS, and um, just the opportunity to work with the children here in Springville. And also working alongside my daughter and just seeing what a um, godly woman she has become. Um, I do want to say thank you for all the support we've had during this time of COVID. People hate change and I am the number one. I hate change, but you guys have been so supportive and just kept it, you know, encouraging us and praying for us and uh, just dreaming for our children here at Lighthouse. So thank you, Chris. Pam, Kara, Stevo, Sonia for all the help and the teamwork that we have in, um, in our children's ministry. Thank you. Okay. My daughter Carly was six months old when Pam asked me if I wanted to help um, do the Wednesday night kids night at Lighthouse Chapel. And I really thought about it and I was kind of scared, but I decided, yeah, I'll try it. And now 17 years later, I'm still doing Wednesday nights at um, Lighthouse Chapel, and I love it. I'm so glad I did it. Um, my kids have grown up coming to Lighthouse Chapel, coming to Wednesday nights, and Sunday school, and VBS, and they still come and help when um, they have a chance to come up and help me. And um, being a part of so many kids' life here at Lighthouse Chapel and also the kids out in the community has been such a great blessing to me and something that I'm forever going to be grateful for. Um, I just want to say thank you to my mom and Kara and Steve-O for um, being such an awesome, for us all being such an awesome team. I feel like we really work well together and I love you guys. And I also want to say thank you to Pam and Chris and the whole Lighthouse for supporting um, our children's ministry and for supporting me. Thank you. Hi, you guys. I just wanted to give a quick appreciation for Pastor Chris and Pam for being so loving and opening. Um, they're always so sweet. They are so caring and they are just such good leaders for the church. I want to appreciate Sonia and Cheryl as well. They are amazing with the kids. They're so sweet and they love any kind of help they always help me if i need it and working with them is just a pleasure and then of course i also want to appreciate kara and steve-o they're like my second parents they're just the best um and they also just work so well with the older kids and they are just such an important part of this church and i love all of you guys thank you guys for all that you do you guys are the backbone of the church. You guys are awesome, and I hope you have such a lovely Pastor's Appreciation Day. Bye. <coughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh...